you. Thank you for coming. We just want to sing a little bit. We know it officially starts at 7, and we want to, I know more people will be coming in, but my name's Randall Christie, and I'm glad you're here tonight. And it's going to be awesome. You should hear these bands. I want to introduce you to my sister, Sharla Frederick. He's all I need when I just need.
I want to thank the Graves family for letting us use their sound equipment. If I don't knock it off the stage tonight, and you can take the music in the monitors like way, way down. And uh, we're, we're used to kind of hearing each other's voices and singing off of that. And, but we love to come to your church sometime and sing. Are you ready for some awesome gospel bands tonight? I mean, it's amazing. David, start that song there. I believe the Lord's coming back, don't you? If you believe it, let me hear you out there. Well, I want to be in that blessed number When the clouds roll back the day I want to see the face of my Redeemer When he says, come home to stay What a day of jubilation When this world I'll flee away Oh, what a day, happy day Oh, what a day Can you just imagine A city with no sin Living there forever Life without end Oh, what a celebration you have, I think most of us are getting to getting a feeling that it won't be long. And that's the spirit groaning inside of us, isn't it? Longing to be where we're going to spend forever. And I'm looking forward to that. Love life, but I'm looking forward to eternal life. And I want you to go by our table and pick up some free things. We have a magazine that we just got, actually, I guess yesterday, and that's brand new. It's got a lot of concerts in it that we're putting on this year. So if you want to come some, to some great gospel concerts at Kanawha and Seminole and Eureka Springs at the Great Passion Play, uh, tells about that as well. June 21st and 22nd, we're going to have a huge event in Eureka Springs at the Great Passion Play with a great lineup of gospel groups. All of that is in this magazine, and it's also on this postcard. How many of you in here did not get one of these postcards in the mail? Uh-huh, a lot of people, okay. Well, we sure would love for you to 
we put your name down so we can put you on the list to get them. And you just we send them out a couple of times a year, and it tells the concerts we're hosting and all the groups that are coming to them. And for instance, in uh, June at the Great Passion Play, it's going to be let's see. The Dixie Melody Boys, the Neelands, the Freemans, the Greens, Red Roots, and uh, uh, several others. Chris Hester's going to be there as well. And Kanawha, this is just partial lineup. Get the whole thing in the magazine. Gold City is going to be at Kanawha this year because the Oklahoma All Night Sing is held in Kanawha, Oklahoma. And it's its 50th anniversary Golden Anniversary featuring Gold City. And we hope you'll be there for that. That's the first Saturday in August. And Seminole is a huge event. How many of y'all ever, ever been to Seminole? Yeah, great. Well, this year we're going to have a tremendous lineup. Red Roots, the Graves family, the Anchorman, the Neelands, also Karen Peck and New River, the Kingsman. Dove Brothers, the Tallies, the Freemans, Three Bridges, and Gordon Moat. And so it's going to be a great, great concert. We also would love for you to pick up one of these brochures, and we have Bible markers for you and ink pens, and we've got something to give you if you'll come back by the Gospel Station booth. It's getting pretty close to 7 o'clock, and we're going to turn it over to the other groups just right after 7, but we want to sing another song for you right now. And have you enjoyed Southern Sunlight so far? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now this might, might make a Baptist want a two-step. Yeah. As I travel down the road of life, the old devil gets in my way. His darkness dims my daily path. will take you by the hand and he'll lead you to the other side. God's promise, God's promise will never fail. fail. God's, promise God's promise must prevail. God's promise, God's promise sure and strong. He'll never lead you wrong. Well, the devil tries to trick us and lead us astray. Jesus oh. is there. Trust him day by day. So when you come to the Jordan cold and wide, the Savior and Lord will be your guide. Jesus will take you by the hand and lead you to the other side. God's promise, God's promise will never fail. God's promise, God's promise must prevail. God's promise, God's promise sure and strong. He'll never lead you wrong. Well, the devil tries to trick us and lead. to trick us and lead us astray. Jesus is there to show us the way. Jesus will take you by the hand and lead you to the other side. Well, Jesus will take you by the hand and lead you to the other side. To the other side. till seven. I think we've got time to sing two more songs and then we'll turn it over. We'd love to come to your church sometime on a love offering basis and and uh, some churches love us a whole lot more than others. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Once in a while somebody even asks us to come back and uh, that's real exciting. All you, you can, I'm sure you can readily tell that if you'll feed us we usually come back. And uh, I've enjoyed it already tonight. Uh, I've got to tell you that McCray Dove and Daryl and Chris Freeman and the Graves family and Chris Hester 
I'm getting to know these guys and their families, and they love Jesus Christ. And you're going to hear it in their music tonight and in their playing. And they're also, in my personal opinion, I don't know how much my opinion counts, but I guess it counts a lot tonight because I'm the one that asked them to come see. <laughs> and uh, in my personal opinion, you are going to hear some of the best bands in gospel music tonight. Yeah. Now, I love all kinds. I love gospel bluegrass. How many of y'all like that? Yeah. And uh, I even love uh, quartets. Just four-part male harmony with a good high tenor and a low-down bass. I love it. And uh, just all kinds of good gospel music. But tonight, we're really focusing on live bands. And I'm excited about that because I love to hear that. Uh, and you know when the spirit gets to moving and they can just take off and do what God leads them to do. I'm looking for a revival tonight to break out. Yeah, let's sing it. I'm excited about it. This song here, a friend of ours wrote for us. I love to hear my sister sing it. Take the hand of the master. Today is a new day, and there's work to be done. Such beauty all around us, the rising of the sun. Take the hand of the master, and he'll show you. to salvation each and Wonder why I 
shout Why my burden's lifted Why I have no doubt Cause the Lord lives in my heart And he's here to stay Well, it all started that day When I got saved Oh, 
We've had a good time so far, haven't we? Yeah. Woo! It just gets better and better. We're two or more gathered. We got at least that much, don't we? Amen, amen. Well, it's such a great honor to be here in Hillsdale. It's the first time I've been in Hillsdale College. Uh, my pastor buddy Drake from Allen, Oklahoma, graduated from Hillsdale College. And uh, he talks about it all the time, but I didn't know it was this big. The way he talked about it was two rooms and a bathroom and a cafe, and that was about it. Of course, when he graduated, that may have been what it was. <laughs> but we are so glad to be here and so glad to have these wonderful artists here sharing the love of God and the great healing and saving message. And right now, I'm going to get one of my good friends, and he's a good friend of the Gospel Station. How many of y'all have ever heard the song, Highway 96? Can I see your hand? Or here, just, just applaud. Well, good. <laughs> That's good for him to hear that. Well, we're glad to have him here. Before, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and let him come and, and minister to you. Would you welcome with me, give a big Hillsdale welcome for, from Tulsa, Oklahoma, our good friend of the Gospel Station, Mr. Chris Hester. Sometime long ago, it's been several years ago. Gerald Pratt wrote this song. I hope you enjoyed it. It goes like this. For 12 long years she'd suffered with no hope in sight. Then one day she heard that Jesus would pass by. It was all that she could do just to stand upon her feet. But as he drew near, she found a miracle in reach. When life affords no answers, and your outcome looks unsure, when hope is shattered by things you can't see, remember reason is defied when the Lord of glory steps in. He never fails if you can just believe. Aren't you thankful for that tonight? The faith will put your miracle in reach. How many love the Lord tonight? Jerry is smooth and dead. Would soon take his dear child. Accept the wonder come from God and bring new light. Desperation led to Jesus with his earnest plea. As she rose to life, she found her miracle in reach. So in life affords no answers, and your outcome looks unsure. When hope is shattered by things you can't see, remember reason is to find when the Lord of glory steps in. He never fails if you can just believe. It's a miracle that God has us all here tonight, amen. When life affords no answers and your outcome looks unsure, when hope is shattered by things you can't see, remember reason is defied when the Lord of glory steps in. He never fails if you can just Faith will 
It's a miracle that we're all here tonight. Not long ago, there was a lot of devastation. I had met Brother Christie here, and we had had a meeting. Matter of fact, we were right here at this facility, and uh, just uh, seemed like weeks later, we saw the news that tornado had come through and all of the damage that had been done. But we drove in tonight, and you know, it's just a miracle that God has brought us all down to this very moment and very and very time that He has given us a very short amount of time. Really, when you consider life is very short. Would you agree with me tonight? So I think what time we have left, we need to get out there and tell folks about the Lord. How many agree with me tonight? Yeah, come on. Let's worship and praise him tonight. He's worthy of our praise. Is that sign language for clapping? We can go to a concert. We can shout and raise our hands. We can go to a football game and we're dancing in the stands. But when it comes to sharing the love of God, we seem to lose our voice. But God wants us to remember we should make a joyful noise. So get out there and tell them of the power of God and what His mighty work can do. Let's get out there and tell them of His healing power and how He rescued you. Don't wait until the next time, because the next time they never come. Get out there and see them. Get out there and show them. Tell them what the Lord has done. Oh, he's been so We can share a good old story or a favorite magazine. Come on. Or we can share a picture or even Grandma's recipe. But when it comes to sharing the love of Christ, some people may never know that God, he's more than a rumor. He is someone they should know. So get out there and tell them of the power of God and what his mighty work can do. Let's get out there and tell them of his healing power and how he rescued you. Don't wait until the next time, because the next time they never come. Get out there and see them, get out there and show them, tell them what the Lord has done. Oh, you got to tell them, oh, tell them what the Lord has done. And how he rescued you. Don't wait until the next time. Because the next time they never come. Get out there and see them. Get out there and show them. Tell them what the Lord has done. Get out there and see them. Get out there and show them. Tell them what the Lord has done. Praise the Lord, we love you tonight. My goodness gracious. I think they're going to show a video here next. Maybe. We don't know if they're going to or not. We're going to try to show it. How about a round of applause for those running our sound and lights tonight? We appreciate you. You can make or break us. Well, maybe it will work. Maybe it won't. If it won't, I'll just go ahead and do something different. A good friend of mine, we won't do the video tonight. A good friend of mine uh, wrote a song. And uh, some of the best songwriters have been people who gone through some hard times in their life. How many here have ever gone through a hard time? Or you know somebody that's been through a hard time. But the grace of God is greater than anything we'll ever go through. Amen. But he began to write a song. And I asked him, I said, Jeff, how did you pencil this song? He said, well, I wrote the first verse about my family. So I'd like to sing it for you tonight. Thank you, Jeff Ferguson, for writing this beautiful, 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 beautiful song. You may have to bring the track up. It's a little low on this, Wayne. Thank you all so much. 
Listen to the words. Maybe you can relate. Maybe you've got some family just like this song sings about tonight. Here's the answer. A mother barely 20 out there on her own. A teenage boy in prison before he's even grown. The illness of a loved one the widow no one calls. But there's one solution. There's an answer for it all. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is hope. There is strength. There is victory to claim. There is healing in his holy presence. There A nation needing mercy, fighting for her life. There's a church that needs revival, and a broken man and wife. Oh, but in the name of Jesus, chains of bondage fall. Prayers are heard and answered. When God's children call, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is hope, there is strength, there is victory to claim. There is healing in His holy presence. There Talk like it. 
like it, cause things are gonna change. Does anybody have faith here tonight? Why you feeling? Hold on, remember, you're not alone. Just know that it won't be long before things come to pass. Why not take the chance? Believe in, in advance, in spite of your circumstance. You know what? God has got your back, so you gotta walk like it, talk like it, before things ever change. Just man up, stand up, learn how to use your faith. God's gonna show up, he said he would. You work it all out for your good. So walk like it, talk like it, cause things are gonna, oh, God's gonna show up, he said he would, you work it all out for your good, so walk like it, talk like it, cause things are gonna change, so oh, things are gonna change. Do we have faith in the size of a mustard seed? Amen. How many have faith tonight? Amen. Praise the Lord tonight. What a privilege it is to be at Hillsdale. I was saying when I come on, I don't know if I had my mic turned up and people in the back row could hear this, but I wrote my very first song here on this campus. It was back in 1984. I was just a real, uh, I know, you know, they all didn't think I was around in 84, but I was. <laughs> <laughs> Wrote my first song here on this campus and uh, uh, then went on to record and have met some great people along the way. And, and uh, one of the best people I think I have met in the gospel music ministry is Brother Randall Christie. He's a dear friend. Would y'all let him know you love him tonight, would you? Along the way, we've met some great writers. Randall's a great writer, a great group. Southern Sunlight, how many enjoyed them tonight? Come on, let them know, okay? How about Mark Hewitt, eh? You hear that A? I told Mark to introduce me. I was from Tulsa, Oklahoma by way of um, Central America. We were um, on a trip last week, week. My wife and I was on a, on a cruise and uh, had a wonderful, wonderful time. I told him, introduce me. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma by way of Cancun, but he didn't do it tonight. But boy, what a privilege it is to be with y'all. But we met some really interesting people along the way and God has blessed our family in so many different ways. We've had a, a son for 18 years and Recently, Kim and I adopted a daughter, and she's out at the record table. I hope you'll stop by. Her name is almost like mine. It's a little prettier. I'm Chris. She's Chrissa. I hope you'll stop by and see her. We'd love to shake your hand and tell you how much we appreciate you being here tonight. But also along the way, we met a songwriter not long ago. His name is Gary Jolly. He's a precious man. He's written many, many, many songs for uh, Eric Henson and, and some of the other groups uh, at, on the road today. But he had written a song. And uh, he came to me and he said, Chris, I had a dream the other night that my mother had fallen in the middle of the night and that I needed to go and be with her and help her up. And she lived about 30 miles from where I live. So he said, I told my wife that I would head down there. I was about 20 miles into the trip. And he said, I pulled off of I-40 just outside of Nashville where I live, getting ready to get on a highway called Highway 96. He said, I saw a truck begin to come around the corner and it had an automobile accident. He said, I... I was just oh so overwhelmed by what God showed me. I went back and I began to pen the words of this song. You may have heard it on the Gospel Station Network. Let them know you appreciate them tonight. Here it is, Highway 96. <laughs> Come on, let them know you love them tonight. Rick Cody, you guys, Charlotte, we love y'all. I pulled off of 40 just out of Nashville on Highway 96. I saw the car lose control, it started to roll, crashed into a ditch. I was the first one by the young man's side, I could tell he knew he was gonna die. He said, tell my folks that I love them, I don't want to leave them this way. Then he said, oh, mister, would you help me pray? 
What could I say to that poor young man? He thought I knew God as I held his hand. So I stumbled with a word or two. Then I remember what my teacher said way back when in Sunday school. And I told him, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me. He wants us all to go to hell. But man, you got to believe that he's the son of God who died on the cross. He rose again to save the lost. Don't let your life slip away and make the mistake of waiting too late. Cause heaven is waiting on you. Heaven is there waiting on you. I couldn't believe I said what I did cause I knelt there by his side. The young man cried, forgive me Lord, save me before I die. So then I bowed my head and I said, Lord, I believe that's when two were saved from tragedy. And I told the young man that I loved him. I said, I'll see you up in heaven someday. As I held him close to my heart. The angels took him away. Oh, and I thank the Lord for my teacher from back in Sunday school. Well, that day she helped save that young man. She helped save me too. And I believe if she were here today, she'd still be saying, Heaven is waiting on you. Heaven is waiting on you. Heaven is waiting on you. Heaven is there waiting on you. So then I pulled back on the 40 just out of Nashville on the highway 96. It's been great to be with y'all in Hillsdale tonight. Love you all very much. This is Mark Hewitt.
crosses on one lonely hill. Two men were guilty, three men were killed. He loved the crosses on one lonely hill. Two men were guilty, the three men were killed. Sorrowless 
listen what I say. You have lost your dwelling here. I have changed this atmosphere. Oh, trespasser, get out of this place. Satan, get on down the road. I resist you, and you know you must go. On. I know what you came to do, but there is no place here for you. Oh, trespasser, get out of this place. Well, oh, oh, trespasser, get out of this place.
I love them all so. People ask me, why, why do they still sing those, those old songs? Because they're good. They lasted because they're great songs. Not because they're old. They're great. And uh, we're going to maybe sing a couple of nights, hopefully. Let me introduce the Freemans to you and let you know who's up there singing and playing. And uh, back on the drums with my son. Maybe we can get him up here to do a song. How about for Kaylin Freeman? There he is. <laughs> this gentleman back on the guitar when we're within 100 miles or so, he comes out. His name is B.J. Leach. How about for B.J. Nadez? <laughs> Over here on the keyboard, this is my first cousin. He's, uh, he's traveled with us for 30 years. And uh, that's a long time to be out here running around in the old buses. And, you know? Country, out of the country, wherever he's been, everywhere with us. How about the Mr. Joe Freeman on the keys? There he is. On the <laughs> Stand in the center. This is my wife, and uh, has been now for a long time. And, uh, um, we've been together for 33 years. Been out here traveling, and. Uh, up in a bus together for 30 some years. And when you're on the bus, you can't go nowhere. You go to the back, back up the front. You can't leave. 70 miles an hour, you shut the, oh, that's too quick, I can't leave. But uh, it has been good, though. It has been good. But uh, you know what? She's been out here a long, long time, and uh, I've sang with her all these years on stage, and uh, I don't think anybody has sang any better than her in a long time to me. Uh, she is, um, she came out to the state of Kentucky, out of California, and sang with the Hensons for seven years. And was on that amazing song, The Lighthouse, coming out of there singing that song, the original singer on that. It's amazing that the song she's been on, and, um, I'm just happy she's still out here and looking good and singing good. How about for Chris Freeman? Yes! Yeah. Our daughter, 
this one tonight, and we do miss her to play acoustic and sings. But get back to Kaylin. You know, I asked him to sing a few years ago, and he, he found a song on our, new, on our album, and it was a great song. And I said, hey, I'd like to get you up here. He said, um, the younger ladies would rather see somebody young <laughs> girl up here. And uh, older ladies, they'd rather see somebody young up here, too. So uh, why don't you just get up here? Song, so. Pretty well covers everybody because the men they don't buy no CDs anyway. <laughs> they always stand off the side trying to take away from the wife's money. You, you sure you want three? Yeah, she does. This is your wife. But he has a song that was put out by the Imperials, and um, I love this old song. It's a little different, and um, I think he does a great job. Did a uh, duet with Misty on here, but Chris is going to sing with him tonight. How about for Kayla tonight? He's going to do a song called Water Grave. Come on, Kayla. Now in my house there's been a mercy killing. The man I used to be has been crucified. And the death of this man was the final way of revealing in the spiritual way to live I had to die. Now if I let that dead man linger in me, I might get a little idle in my way. So I'm going down Dead man down to the water
up here Hallelujah. singing. You know, Kalen's never asked to do anything else. A lot of people say, you know what? He could be doing something else. He's never asked to. Right. And I appreciate that. He just he enjoys playing gospel music. <laughs> we appreciate that. Randall Christie, he's been our home. Chris, we appreciate him. We uh, love him. Appreciate the work that And Chris Hester's been our home. We appreciate him. And this new group I just heard up here, I got to meet them early. They did a great job. They love them. They and I, awesome. well, they got one advantage. If somebody leaves, they ain't nobody going to know it. Just put love in on me. Did that person leave? I don't think so. They gone. But uh, he can just keep rotating and know they never have changed group. He's got it made. Just keep it going. Just keep it going. Chris, what else you got? We're going to do a couple more songs here. You know, um, when Kaylin was singing that song about being baptized, I still believe in that now, y'all. Amen. Maybe I'm old fashioned, but I believe in Calvary. I believe in the cross. And I believe that Jesus has gone away to prepare a place for me. And then he promised me that he was coming back. I've been looking for him a long time, and I'm still looking for him today, because he's never broke a promise. Amen. Father, I know it. One day up in heaven, the Savior said goodbye. As he started on his journey, the holy angels cried. He turned and faced his father. This they heard him say. Mankind knows of dead below that all I can fade. So I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be gone for a little while, then I'm coming back. Oh, I'll be back. On his way to Jerusalem, Jesus told his men, you see the son betrayed there, oh, and there I'll be condemned. They'll mock me, they'll curse me. Then I'll be crucified. Oh, I'm gonna suffer in agony, and there you will see me die. But I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be gone for just a few days. Then you look for me, cause I'm coming back.
mom had Alzheimer's. We never dreamed in a million years that she would be in Tennessee with us, especially with us traveling way we was. She lived in northern Ohio all her life, almost all her life. She was originally from the coal mines of Virginia, but uh, had to go to Ohio and pick her up because uh, felt like we were the best to take care of her. Um, tough decision, but we felt like we made the right one. Uh, it was a big job to take care of her, but she took care of me. It was pretty simple. So we took care of her. And our prayer was that we lost her, we'd lose her in our home, and we lost her in our home, in our living room, and uh, she started this group many, many years ago, we love to sing, she sang up a couple of days before she died, never forgot her songs, she forgot a lot of stuff, but she never forgot her old songs, never, so to have her own special time for us. We didn't record for almost three years. Go on a road with Joe's family and watch her. Come back home on Monday morning and pick her up. And happy to do it. So when I found this song, uh, we knew it was going to be tough to sing, but it felt like we needed as much as people needed. And uh, so we put it on the radio and uh, made a video of it my best buddies, Buck Rambo, he's now 82 years old, he loves this song, so I called him up, and he come to our home, and we shot a video with him, just me and him alone, and he did an awesome job, and uh, just happy to bring someone like that back, because when I started playing, I was 13 <laughs> years old, I was playing his albums. I was playing the big album with his picture on the front, so him, for him to come back in my life full circle, and then uh, him personally asked me, and I don't think he'd mind me saying this, he said, you're going to sing that at my funeral, and I said, I will in about 25 years, he said, I don't care if you have to bring a cane, you're going to sing it, <laughs> okay, okay, but uh, it's special, and uh, I hope someone out there, I know a lot, there's never a night, I don't care how many people we have, there's always someone going through it, or been through it, or know somebody going through it. So if you are, the song, maybe it'll help you get along a little bit farther. And Chris Hester, is he in the building? His, I'm going to do this for his uh, daughter. This is for her tonight. It's called Lead Me Home. I have seen my last tomorrow. I am holding my last breath. Goodbye, sweet world of sorrow. My new life begins with death. Standing on the mountain, I can hear the angel songs. I am reaching over joy. Take
God bless you all, man. We'll be back. Major credit cards, if you want to make a check out, you can make it out to the Freemans. Even if you're buying the Dove Brothers, go ahead and make the check out to the Freemans. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all felt that too, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> but um, I also have um, six CDs that are packaged together, some of our older music, but it's great music. But tonight we have all six of those for just $20. T-shirts, small to double X, $15. We'd appreciate y'all to stop by tonight on your way out or during the intermission. Isn't it
has been great so far. Yeah. Isn't it wonderful? Give our master of ceremony here, give him a hand. Dan C.
uh, we, we got a message that uh, the Christian Voice magazine, or, or, or there, there's so many of them out there. But anyway, they have all these award shows. We were nominated group and, and nomination also band of the year. So I'm proud of these guys. Yeah. <laughs> they can lose too. Yeah. Over there playing steel guitar, half a guitar. He comes from North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, boy, can he play. Would you make welcome Mr. Mike Sally? <laughs> Behind me, stand up, son. I want to look at you. Young man plays an instrument you either love or you hate. That's why we got him caged up. <laughs> and I look over here, the Gray family, they hate it worse than I do. They got it completely going up. But everywhere we go, people look at that boy, they look at me, and they'll say, well, you can't deny that. I say, oh, yes, I can. <laughs> That's my nephew. He's been playing drums for me since he was 14. I'm surprised he's 18 years old. Then he's up. <laughs> and my name is McCray Dove, and I make the hog. McCray Dove is up on the stage.
we're going to sit down and I want to leave. And I've watched several things this night. And I've watched this lady right here.
I made up my mind 2014 should have made up my mind a long time ago this way but I made up my mind I won't play no games we rolled through town we got one thing in mind Jesus Traveling no bus no more. Then why? Because it's boring. <laughs> Spent a little over eighty-seven thousand dollars on fuel last year. You say, well, Craig, that's the Lord. He'll provide. Yeah, he will. But he also gives you a brain. Lord, I don't know, maybe, maybe you got something different for me. But all I know is I've been singing to you since I was four years old. And when you saved me, I made me want to sing even more. And that was all I got. I don't know nothing else. And I'm standing here. I hear you looking for a tenor singer, so we'll have to sing for you. Long story. God said he wouldn't do it. Amen. I don't know what you're facing in your life. Things may have changed. So your question. Come by today let you know God's still working for you. God is still working. First weekend out with this group right here, I shared this with Randy and Sue. I heard this song and I've never heard it before. And I give credit where credit's due. The group that recorded this song Song I had never heard of, but I saw it. It's a group called the Dunaways. And when I heard this song, I asked a young lady that sang during the break, and I went to a man who sang the song. I went home, and first thing I did, got on YouTube, found it. I see any more than I ever had in my life. <laughs> I got deals out there. You get three for 20, five for 40, six for 50. I'm telling you, come by and take advantage of that. But I had to get my daughter to download this song. <laughs> I've never done it. I'm serious. I've never done it. Chris, I got by myself. 
Everybody that was bold and bold and bold. Today as well, you saw that spirit. The song may not mean a thing to you. I don't care. Here I brought you from. Just take a look. 